Thanks, Andrew. The QC Rock Academy held a showcase concert tonight at Schwebert Park in Rock Island. And as News H, Josh Lamberty explains, tonight's concert was a long time coming and had a lot of energy to match. Some people have natural talent up on a stage. I think we all get pretty nervous, but once you get up there and you just start performing it, you just get so happy and overwhelmed. That's Katie Lampy singing her heart out with her band Strictly Business. It's an extreme rush of just adrenaline and happiness all in once. Playing cover songs and some originals with so much anticipation. I'm extremely excited. I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited to perform. I just, I miss the feeling that I get when I'm up on stage in front of a bunch of people. And all of the excitement for the concert that may not have happened at all. Our student bands are finally getting able to do a show for the first time in about nine months due to COVID. Greg Hipskind owns the QC Rock Academy. Usually, you know, through the summer, the kids would be playing shows almost every week. And not being able to play for nine months has been tough on them. He barely slept last night, too. I'm very excited about this. I love this. A concert with eight student bands and soloists. Metal bands, we got classic rock bands, pop bands, we got a couple acoustic acts. Together on stage for one time in 2020. It's really nice to be able to be brought together by something that we all love. Bringing music to everyone's ears. We're going to show off what these kids are made of. In Rock Island, Josh Lamberty, WQAD News 8. Greg says he isn't planning on any more concerts right now. He says that the fall and winter weather will make it very difficult to find venues safe enough for both the bands and the audience.